Welcome, folks, one and all, to a brand new Let's Play with a slightly croaky voice, because I'm just recovering from a cold. <coughs> with this extremely agitating character telling me to choose my skill level. <coughs> I'm not going to reveal what the game is choose your skill level. until the title comes up, but even then I'm not going to talk to you in the introduction. The introduction is very short, not worthy of its own video, but I'm going to show you... Please choose your skill level. I'm talking! Can't you wait ten seconds? This is a point-and-click adventure game. Please choose your skill Fine! Level. I'll click standard. If you'll let me talk. Welcome to the age of I'm gonna be quiet now. Kills. Signa, it is the dawn of your seventeenth year. The elders await you in the sanctuary. I've never known you to weave such a bright messenger nymph. I wonder why the elders want to see me. I'd better get down to the village. <laughs> let's play some loom, shall we? And more importantly, let's have the, uh, Let's have the uh, text on the screen. <coughs> this is a point-and-click adventure game, as you saw. The last leaf of autumn. That I have not turned the uh, thing on. <laughs> Thank you. Text will now appear on the screen. That is um, a bit unusual in the sense that it's very story-driven. It's dawn. Really? It's dawn. He'll just keep saying that, by the way. It's Dawn. Now, originally, I wanted to play this on my old computer, but um, my old computer couldn't hack it. Tried to record it, and it indeed is Dawn. But um, I'd try and record it, and it would just completely blur up. Like, the <coughs> latency would be ridiculous. So, this is me. I am a dude. It's my 17th year, and the elders await me in the guild hall. Now, there is an introduction to this that you can look at. Unfortunately, it's a 30-minute long audio cassette that came with every version of this game. I'm playing the Steam version because it has voice acting, and I'd rather not listen to PC speakers. Oh, goody. Um, this is where I live. Excellent. You'll notice a trend of weaving amongst us. Weaving is pretty important to, uh... This is not the temp we want to go in. Weaving is pretty important to the uh, people on this island, and you will see why, but more importantly... <coughs> I think this is not the right way. No, this really is not the right way. There is a particular tent we wish to go into, and it's pretty big. Yep, a tent kicks off this entire game. Is it this tent? No, this tent is very dark. Is it... This tent? Nope. Is it this tent? The 
answer to my question there is no. It's one of them. We're going to find out which tent. Is it by any chance this tent? Yes, I think it's this tent. Yes, the tent is huge on the inside rather than the outside. Well, that's magic for you. Ah. Weavings. There's the long tapestry. I don't remember it looking so old and frayed. That's because it is old and frayed. The threads describe the creation of the world and the passing of the two shadows. You'd have learned all of this stuff in the audio cassette, which I don't have. What you need to know is that this man has a prophecy attached to him. One that the other weavers don't like. So they've banned him from learning a weaving abilities until his, they made a decision on his 17th birthday. Except for one person that taught him anyway. Yes, you wouldn't think a tiny tent would have pillars in it, do you? And here's another one. Here's more of the tapestry. It's blue. The pattern shows the entire history of the weavers. Back to the founding of the great guild. To me, it just looks like a blue rug, but then again, you're the expert. Or rather, you're not the expert. The people in the other room are... Ooh, here's one that's not finished yet. And finally, we've learned how to embroid, embroid things with patterns. The last section tells about the decline of the guilds. There's a third shadow gathering. That's strange. The end is completely torn off. Oh, goody! That's not ominous in the least, is it? Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Oh, here, here are the dudes. Let's listen to what they have to say, shall we? There's Hetchel. And the elders don't look at all pleased with her. You oh. have heard the findings of this council, Dame Hetchel? All four of you. Have you anything to say in your own defense? My elders. My actions speak for themselves. This reckless defiance is intolerable. Really? Any secret you share with Signa's son might be turned against us. Really? His talent is awakening, and the power is very strong in him. We dare not desert him now. Good point. Stubborn old fool, who are you to decide such things? Enough, Lachesis. Lachesis, eh? Petrel, I am grieved to see your many years of service end in such disgrace. My destiny is yours to weave. Hetchel, the fabric of your life has been woven by your own choices. Okay. Gaze once more upon the great loom, if you would know your ultimate destiny. For that destiny is now upon you. Now you're an egg. A swan's egg. What does it mean? Something is deeply wrong. That draft has never failed before. What? Uh oh. What is that noise? Outside. It's a swan. The guild is under attack. By a swan. Who dares to desecrate the great loom of the weavers. This is the work of that demon boy. We should kill him while we still can. Your name will be cursed forever, son of Signa. My name? But I had nothing to do with this. Wait, where are you going? No explanations. No goodbyes. And once again, I'm left behind. Oh, poor Bobbin. Bobbin Threadbare. That is us. And those were swans. Well, from an outsider's perspective, you think... The th weavers were a bit jumpy, being attacked by a swan. But we want that staff. It's heavier than it looks. We only know three notes. C, D, and E. And here's a weave. Those are the same four threads <coughs> by the elders. 
that's still echoey in the loom. Yes, um, did you think that, um, I didn't write that down? That's actually very important, but you do get multiple hints about that one. It's an egg. Can I do it? Ooh. Egg, it's trying to open. Ah! Now you will see what a weaver is capable of doing. A weaver is capable of manipulating everything with with these um, magic abilities called drafts. For instance, if I were to click the egg and go E C E D I can open the egg with the power of thread. Uh, ooh, there's my boy. That's not What's a swan. Happening? The whole village has flown away without us. From the moment you came into this world, Bobbin, great and terrible things have been happening. I'm talking to a the duck elders thing. elders hoped that your birth was the cause of it. Why would the elders want to get rid of me? I'm such an awful weaver that they never even let me study with the others. They fear you, Bobbin. When the swan arrived, they were already trying to weave the same draft on you that they had worked on me. Really? The draft turned against them. Really? It means only one thing, that the pattern is failing of its own accord. Really? No. Can't it be stopped? Stop chaos? The only thing to do is embrace it and turn ourselves into creatures of shadow. Or plan our escape. Well, really? To where? I don't know. But if we are to survive, we must find out where that flock has flown and join them if we can. You've already found Atropos's distaff. Good. You won't be able to weave very much with it at first, but as you practice, its true power will be revealed to you. Yes, it will. It's time to leave this island, Loom Child. Your destiny lies beyond the sunset, across the sea. Will do! Mother Hitchell, <coughs> where are you going? Goodbye, Bobbin. I must follow the swan. Well, this is a fine mess. Everybody's gone and I still don't understand what's going on. But why did they keep calling me Loom Child? Nobody's ever let me anywhere near a loom. If you think this is a magic loom that you're looking at, from the fact that it's vibrating and glowing, you'd be absolutely right. It's very magic, actually. So, chaos is coming, and the great heroes decide, screw this, we're leaving. That sounds about right. Now we, however, can weave. We can't weave a lot. Well, we can't weave a lot at all. But we're going to do some practice. And the way we're going to practice is quite simple. We're going to go weave. Oh man, did you think that this game was going to be full of weaving? Weaving action! All that intensive weaving power... Oh, okay, it's not actually going to be weaving. It's going to be magic that's called weaving. But I, Bobbin Threadbear, shall use this weaving magic to my extreme. So when we come back, folks... More weaving! More flashy curses. I don't know why it's flashing. Until then, folks, until then, I'll catch you later. I'll see you then.